everybody, this is Magic Movies coming at you with two reviews in one because there are two movies that I'm about to review that I gotta tell you I am not a big fan of and I have the pretty much exact same thoughts about both of them. And they are two Pixar movies, which is a shame because I absolutely love Pixar and they are Cars and Cars 2, the 2006 and 2011 films that I gotta tell you I'm just not a fan of. I don't think these movies are horrendous by any stretch of the imagination. There is definitely some quality animation, there's some interesting stories in them, they're, they're, they're decent, they're very decent films. They can can be entertaining and funny and, and and all that kind of stuff but they're just so beneath Pixar I mean I when I think of Pixar I think of like the the heights of, of the company like you think of you know Wall-E the Incredibles Finding Nemo all that good stuff Monsters Inc I mean they've made they've made so many great great movies and then they make the Cars series which personally I find to be very very disappointing and I feel like they could have been put out by any animation company like DreamWorks or, or you know the list goes on and on Sony who, who whoever like they, they are just middle of the road and I will say I do think that they were very successful at what they did they were made for kids these are not movies that I thought like the other Pixar movies that were meant to be both great for kids and adults I think that these movies were much more focused in on the kid demographic and there is no doubt that they did that exceptionally well I have nephews that at the time these movies came out were all about them like I've always shown up in lightly McQueen shirts and all that kind of stuff because it totally worked for them and beyond that I thought that they made they created some pretty entertaining characters I and mean, you have lightning Queen the, the main character in the first film voiced by Owen Wilson and it was really cool to, to hear Owen Wilson's voice in an animated film I thought that was interesting and he was a lovable character for sure I think it's definitely a shame that he seemed to take a back seat in the second film and, and but you know I thought he was quality character you have Mater, the, who's voiced by Larry the Cable Guy, who who's very over the top, and f he is pretty f funny in the first film for a kids movie, in my personal opinion. I think he's okay. I think it was a major mistake to put him much more in the main role in the second film because I think he's a great character to have as a secondary supporting character. He's 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 great to, to throw in here or there, but to, when you put so much of him because he was so popular in the first film, I thought that was a massive mistake. You had Sally in the first film. Film, the, the, the female lead voiced by Bonnie Hunt, who's an exceptionally talented performer, and it w I thought it was very cool that they, they brought her in. But I, I thought that her character was largely forgettable, and, and clearly they did too, considering they didn't even bother to bring her back for the to, for the second film. I, 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 she was she was just there. There was nothing exceptional about her. I did like the the new spy car in the second one. I thought that that was that was a pretty cool idea. I, I'm drawing a blank on the name of, of the car, so I'm just gonna look it up here real quick. Uh, what was it? Uh, Finn McMissile, which is a pretty, pretty great name, voiced by the, the legendary actor Michael Caine. I thought that was a nice touch. One because yeah, obviously he has a very British voice, which is uh, which is what the character was, and, and he has this weird, this charm to him that really works for that kind of spy genre. So I thought that was a nice touch, and, and I just like the whole idea of, of the spy cars that you've seen in the the Bond films and all this stuff, bringing that into the universe. I thought was cool. I thought that worked, but really to me. The, the most lasting characters are voiced, one by George Carlin in the first film, and both of these are actually from the first film. George Carlin, he, he's barely in it, he plays as the kind of hippie van that shows up, but I, I loved all the scenes with him. And then, I, I mean, they had Paul Newman as Doc Hudson in the first film, and I thought that that was just a, a masterstroke. Paul Newman, and such a charismatic performer, even when you could just hear his voice, and did such a great job as kind of the mentor to Lightning, Lightning Queen in the, in the first film, I thought he really upped the anti for the film as a whole and uh, part of the reason why I didn't like the second film nearly as much was his absence and, and also I just felt like the, the second film was much more uh, glitz and glamour it, it wasn't nearly as grounded a story and, and I think the major misstep they made like I mentioned before was, was focusing much more on Mater as well because he I think he's much better as a supporting character or I do not hate either of these films I think they're okay I think that they were very effective with the, the kids but for as an adult when they came out they just did, they've never done a whole heck of a lot for me and, and that holds true to this day so those are my thoughts on both Cars movies let me know in the comment section below what you think if you're a fan, if you know people who loved them growing up if you are, agree with me that they're definitely on the, the lower end of the Pixar 
of filmography, whatever. Other than that, please hit that like button, hit that share button to make it much more likely that other people come. Check out this review and let me know what they think. And if you're new here or you just haven't done it yet, please, please, please hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can find out when I put out a new video and come check it out and let me know what you think. Other than that, give yourself a good day.